On today's news, we are talking about the recent announcement that Melissa Barrera has been let go from Scream 7. Welcome Scream fans and nerd boxes. I am in a state of shock. I've actually filmed this a few times. Can't get the words out just right. More than usual. But according to One Take News and World of Real, Melissa Barrera was quietly let go from Scream 7 recently due to some comments that she made in a post on Instagram. I too come from a colonized country. Palestine will be free. They tried to bury us. They didn't know we were seeds. If you are not aware of what is going on over in the Middle East, I say go and take a quick Google and see what's going on there. We're not going to dive into that situation on this channel, but the drama continues at Paramount and Spyglass with its actresses. And just to recap, remember, Nev Campbell did not return to Scream 6 in regards to a dispute over pay. That dragged out for what seemed to be months, and we never got the official word on what was going on with that, though we had the inside scoop that we cannot release. Now we have the situation coming into Scream 7 where Jenna Ortega has not officially signed back on to do the next film. And the second most important character in the story that's been told over the films is also not coming back or is not coming back. So there's a lot of things that are going on here. Put Scream 7 in flux, right? Do you have to go back and throw out the entire script and start from scratch? Because we have a lot of unanswered questions. Sam's mental state, her relationship with Tara that was been building over the last two films, and then Christina Carpenter, right? She was a prime suspect to come back in the next film, right? We have some things that can play out. Now in Scream 7, if we don't have these two characters coming back, do we bring back the other two of the core four? Does it make sense? Do we throw a lot of money after Nev Campbell to bring her back for Scream 7? I don't know, a lot of questions. What do you think of the situation? What do you think of the state of Scream 7? Is it is it worth doing another film at this point? Or can we split off and do some other things? Some of the topics that we've talked about over their recent videos is that Scream 7, or Scream the franchise, is unique where you can split off and do other stories and then eventually come back to these characters. There's no other horror franchise that has established such key characters quite like Scream has, right? So you can take a break from the core four in Scream 7. You can tell the story about Sydney, ramp up that story arc. Maybe we see Kirby going after the cult of Ghostface in a story. I would prefer that in a TV show, but if we get into the movie, I'd be fine with that. So there's a lot of different things that we can do in Scream 7 that doesn't require the core four, but I guess now it's a wait and see. And I'm sure we're going to get tons of information, hopefully, over the next week or so in regards to what is going on. So let us know what you think about this news that's breaking. Do we need to hear an official confirmation from Paramount? You remember, they never said anything with Nev Campbell. So will they say something? I don't know. And uh, should they continue with Scream 7 without these two characters? Drop in the comments and don't forget to do all the, the fun liking and subscribing if you're not already. Close to 4,000 subscribers, folks. That means we're going to be giving away that Scream popcorn bucket from Cinemark and the cups that were exclusive to them. So help us get to 4,000. We'll give those away. Anyway, until the next video, see ya. Thank you.